Hey, how's it going everyone? This is a quick, uh, it's not even instructional. It's just a quick setup on how I do charge my lead acid battery for my motorcycle. So this is 12 volt, 7 amp battery and it's been giving me some problems. Um, it doesn't want to start. So I need to have it charged just a little bit. So enough that I can you know, start it and I don't know. I want to have it charged in the in a motorcycle shop. But I do have this charger. It's a Eternity G Accucell 8150 that I use for charging my lithium ion batteries or lithium polymer batteries for my RC models. Now I haven't um, charged anything specifically a I haven't charged a lead acid battery on this charger yet so I have not used this charger for quite a while so I haven't been flying my radio controlled models for some time because I was busy with motorcycles for now it would be the first crossover that I'm gonna be doing I mean using a an RC product an RC equipment to charge my lead acid battery but it should be straightforward because there's a provision here that it would be charging PB battery that's lead. So I just hope that's it. So it's a set at LiPo charge. Let's back up. So let's program select. It's in LiPo battery. Low data, save data. There it is. PB battery so that would be it press enter 2 amps at 12 volts which is what my battery is and cross fingers hopefully this would work and no explosion is gonna be happening long press I know, choosing the 2 amps because this is uh, 7 amps so 2 amps would be okay and this was 12 12 volts long press checking that's correct uh, nothing seems to be smoking and I think we're putting in charge into this battery this is an automatic charger that means it has a an auto cutoff when it senses that the battery is already fully charged but let's just say that I'm gonna be charging it for 30 minutes and this is the charge the charge indicator how many I, I would say this would be amps uh, I don't know milliamps that you put into the battery so waiting for 30 minutes I'll let you guys know how this will turn out so what it's doing now it's it's trickle charging see this it's just 0.2 amps and that's the voltage 14.69 and that's the milliamps that's put into the battery 697 charging rate is at 2 amps okay not 0.2 amps so that's already very low I guess it's already trickle charging now going into full charge I don't really need to have it full charge so I'm gonna be stopping this charging process now see hopefully that will do it that did the trick turn off this and get it out of the way wow that was a strong charge <laughs> that means it's a full battery engine engine stop is good to go to run cycle the battery again let's go one more time back to neutral one more and we are good to go 
charging was successful, that means I can charge my own battery using the Turnigy Axel 8 charger. <laughs> that was successful. I'm happy. I did not need to go to the shop to have this battery charged. And right now it's uh, strong. And well, I need to look at the sound of my motorcycle. It's a little bit. Uh, I don't know what that sounds like but it needs to be started time and again every morning as I as as most motorcycles would need to so so good and I hope you guys like this video this was the charging of my battery see you guys in the next vids Ciao.